Mobile police are noticing a spike in car break-ins across the city. Today, officers performed a burglary reenactment to demonstrate just how quickly items can be swiped from your car. Local 15's Christian Jennings joins us now with the mistakes drivers make that really attract thieves. Christian? Well, you guys, you know, we hear this type of thing over and over again, but the problem is police say people keep making the same mistakes. The number one slip up, leaving your car door unlocked, of course. The second worst thing you can do is leave items like electronics and purses in plain sight. It's been a busy month for officers in Mobile's third precinct. We've had 27 vehicle burglaries. Of those, 18 of those have been unlocked vehicles, which are preventable crimes. Today, Mobile Police showed us just how quickly a burglary can occur. In this last reporting period, which is about 30 days, there have been three handguns taken. Uh, we've had cellular phones, which are easily sold. Check out this map from the website streetscan.org. The red flags represent car break-ins reported in just the past month. Lieutenant William Reed says the Old Dolphin Way neighborhood is one of the hot spot areas right now, and police are stepping up patrols. A lot of people will leave their purses in plain sight, book bags. All that is is an accessory for uh, a, a vehicle burglar to walk down the street, look in your vehicle, pull on your door handle if it's unlocked, sit inside the car, dump out your contents, and then take whatever they want and put it in that book bag and walk away with it. Police say that writing down electronic serial numbers for, say, your cell phone and then reporting those to police, if you are indeed the victim of a crime, gives you the best chance of actually getting those items back. Reporting live in Mobile, Christian Jennings, Local 15 News.